Running headers are a type of field typically found at the top of a page that reference a specific text style from within your document. They're often used to display chapter or article titles in books and magazines that have chapters and articles that continue over multiple pages. For example, I have here a novel I've been working on and I want to add chapter titles to the top of each page. To maximize efficiency, we'll use running headers in conjunction with a master page, allowing me to quickly repeat running headers throughout my document. So to begin, we'll go to my master pages panel and select the master page I want to add the running headers to. We can see that I've already begun to prepare this master page by inserting page number fields at the bottom of each page, as well as preparing some basic guides. I'll select the text frame tool from the tools panel and start to draw a new text frame. I'll then insert a running header field by going to the top menu and selecting text, scrolling down to insert, fields, and then choosing running header. The running header has now been placed inside the text frame and is currently being represented by the field's name enclosed by chevrons. We can format the running header by using the text frame tools in the context toolbar. Changing the font, size, and alignment. Next, we need to assign the running header a text style to reference. To do this, I'll navigate to my fields panel by going to Window, References, and choosing Fields. The fields panel will appear and I'll navigate to the document sections. I'll click on the running header menu and from the style dropdown, we can assign the text style that we want to use as a reference. In this case, I'll use 01 chapter title. For this example, we only have one instance of the chapter title text style on the page we're going to apply our master to. So I'll leave the use dropdown set to first on page. If the page contained multiple instances of the same text style, we could use this option to reference the first or last instance of that text style on the page. Below, we also have a number of options, such as including paragraph numbers, applying limitations such as a word limit to the reference, or using special characters to end the reference. You can also choose to include or exclude specific characters, such as punctuation that you may have used to end the reference. I can also adjust the case in which the reference is displayed. For this example, I want the reference to be displayed in upper case. So we'll change title to upper. Once I'm happy with my settings, I'll click away from the panel to close the menu. Then using the move tool and holding command on Mac or control on Windows, I can click drag to duplicate the field onto the second page. I can also hold shift to help me align with the original text frame and the surrounding guides. With the running header fields in place, I can now apply this master to the document pages. So I'll go to my pages panel, select the pages I want to apply the master to, right click and choose apply master. The apply master dialog will appear and I'll select from the apply master dropdown the running headers master page that we've just been working on. I'll then click OK. And if we go back to one of our pages, we can now see that the running header field is pulling through our chapter title. The running header field will continue to populate the first instance of the chapter title text style until another instance of the text style is found. We can use this as an advantage when moving on to another chapter or when using running headers in a magazine. In this example, we have a magazine layout which contains a master page that utilizes running header fields, similar to the book layout. We have a running header field at the top of each page, referencing the text style 01 article title. At the moment, as the running header fields haven't found a new instance of the text style 01 article title, we can see that the article title cellular mitosis continues on the right hand spread. However, if I apply the article text style to this text frame here, we can see that by introducing a new instance of the text style, the running header has been updated. Scrolling to the page below, we can see the article title Divergent Meiosis continues as there's no new instances of the title text style 01 article title on this page. As this title isn't relevant to the information below, I'll look to update the running header references to reference instead the subtitles that we have on this page. So rather than going to my fields panel, I'll select the running header on the left hand page, right click and choose edit field. This will directly allow me to edit this field. So I'll go to the style drop down and choose to select the text style 02 subtitle RH. 
I'll then click close, which will automatically update the running header field. We'll also choose to adjust the running header field on the right hand page. With the running header selected, I'll right click, choose edit field, and under style, we'll once again select 02 subtitle RH, selecting close on the running header dialog to update the field. Both fields are currently picking up the first instance of the subtitle text style on these pages. We can see on the left hand page, the muscle cell or subtitle reference is being picked up by the running header. On the right hand page, instead, connective tissue cells. Both of these pages use multiple instances of the same subtitle text style. So instead of using the first instance of the text style, we could choose instead to use the last instance. I'll choose to edit this field here once again by selecting the running header, right click, and choosing Edit Field. I'll then change the Use drop down to Last on Page. When choosing the first on page or last on page option, the running header field will take into account both the page position and the order in which the instance appears in the layer stack. For example, using the last on page reference will use any text frame that has the text style applied to it that is closest to the top of the layer stack, as the system will see this as the last and most recently used instance. We can see that bone cells, being the last instance of the subtitle text style by both its page position, and its position in the layer stack is now being referenced instead of connective tissue cells. And that's how to insert and edit running header fields utilizing multiple instances in Affinity Publisher. Thank you for watching.